Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how to kill moss in your yard using liquid and dry chemical spread on Dad It Yourself. So this is one of the problem areas in my front yard. This whole area all through here is all moss in with the grass. And it's three o'clock in the afternoon. And as you can see, this spot does not get any sun. Uh, it's gonna be June before I get direct sunlight midday down on this spot. So this area is the back side of my front yard. And as you can see, it does get some sun in the afternoon but mostly not until after about one or two o'clock it's maybe hard to see but there's moss pretty much all along this edge and then creeping out into the lawn like right here and out into here here's a huge spot in my backyard now right now is the only time of the day where this is going to get some direct sunlight within 30 minutes this will all be under shadow again it has probably been under shadow most of the day and it's this whole area all the way across around in here and then it extends down along this edge to the other corner. And then if you look closely, you can see down in here where I've got a lot of moss. This only gets sunlight in the afternoon, so it's a pretty bad spot. This area of the yard's usually pretty wet. It's the low point, so I've always fought it back here. So I'm going to use two different treatments today. I'm going to use a liquid mixed with water in a concentrate and then this granular as a test. As you can see behind me I set up two areas and then a control one in the backyard as well. I'm going to do granular on the left and liquid on the right and then I'm going to do the rest of the yard with the liquid application just to save time. I already mowed the lawn down so I could get a better idea where the, uh, the moss was. So let's get started mixing up that liquid and then we'll start laying this down. So the mix ratio on the concentrate is eight ounces for three gallons. I've already put two gallons of water in here. I have a five ounce Dixie cup here and I'll fill it a little bit less than the top and put two of those in there. So it'll be right around eight ounces. And then we'll go ahead and put that last gallon in. So I'm going to start with the granule. I uh, read the directions on the back and what it does is it says spread liberally and it actually gives you a diagram on how it should look and then once you're done spreading it you actually have to water it in. If you have sprinklers you can just wait till your sprinklers come on that night but I haven't turned my sprinklers on this season yet. So what I'll do is I'll lay this down and then I'll bring the hose over and just wet it down a little bit to get it to start uh, breaking down and getting into the, the soil and the moss and such like that. So this comes in a resealable bag. It's got a nice little screen on the inside to help distribute it. Let's do that.
So with the liquid, it says either sprinkle or spray. Be sure to soak the moss thoroughly and treat the moss. Should actually turn darker black in a few days. Well, we'll check that out. Let's spray it thoroughly. I just want to make a point here. So this has the liquid sprayed on it right here, but I haven't put the granular on the other side. It's been about maybe 10 minutes. So you see the color of that. Now look at this. Huge difference just in a few minutes. Let's put the granular down. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna spray the rest of the yard using the backtrack sprayer. So, time-lapse montage time. So it may be a little hard to see, but right up here on this roof line, right around here, I've got moss kind of on the shingles. This side, as you can see, it's getting a little sun right now, but it's, you know, five o'clock in the afternoon. There's my watch. No, no, you can't see my watch. There's my watch. Yeah, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. It's just getting sun. So this area here, right up here, get some. And then the area right here, this face and a little bit of this face over here, get some. So I have about two and a half gallons left. So I'm going to climb up on that roof and spray that roof down. The advantage to this is I have gray shingles, so it doesn't stain. Um, the active ingredient in the spray is iron. So if you have a light roof uh, or your downspouts go down onto your sidewalks, you want to be careful using this stuff because it could stain those hardscapes or your roof. But I don't have that issue. Uh, my roof is gray and my downspouts go into a leach field in my backyard. And as we know, this is already lawn safe. So I actually wanted to come up here and show you guys a little bit closer. You can see all the moss, a little chunk right there and some in here, but check this out. I don't know if you can see that with the sun, but uh, my gutter. It's completely full of moss. So I sprayed that directly and then any of the runoff from the roof that goes down into here will get that. And over the course of the next couple months, that'll all dry out and get washed down by the rain. Okay, so I'm up here on my upper roof and look, moss in the gutter again here, all up along here. And here's my dryer vent. I actually cleaned that out while I was up here. There's a bunch of junk stuck in it, so I pulled that out and cleaned it out. And then I got some moss in this valley right there. And yes, people, those are my Christmas lights. So in my house, I guess, Easter is when you take the Christmas lights off the upper roof of your house, which is 20 feet in the air. But honestly, it's because we've only had six days here with no rain. So it's been unsafe to be up here. So yes, while I'm up here today filming, I'll be taking the Christmas lights down as well. All right, let's spray this off.
All right, so it's been about an hour, maybe two already. So there's the liquid side. There's the granular side. As you can see, it's just not as dark yet, but I think the granular is more of a time release. We'll check on this tomorrow and see how it looks. So I'm at my little experiment area in the backyard. We got the granular here and the liquid over here. And I gotta say, I think the liquid did a better job in the short term, but it looks like the granular caught up with it and is doing the job sufficiently as well. And here we are in the front yard in my little experiment area. Got a little sun in this area. This is the liquid and this is the granular. And you can see equal results. But again, like in the backyard, I think the liquid did a better job initially. And I think the granular is going to be a more of a long-term, slow release. But both equally as effective. So over the last 48 hours, I found that both of these products are equally as effective. The liquid was effective right up front and quick. The granular took a little bit longer, but became equally as effective. If you're looking for time efficiency, go with the liquid. If you're looking for long-term prevention, granular is definitely going to be for you. This video is the first in a series of preparing your cool season lawn for the spring. If you have any questions or suggestions, put those down in the comments. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down there. Thanks for watching. Data yourself.